Hey everybody, we're doing something pretty cool today. We are taking part in the Side Schemes Draft League. So eight of us drafted Heroes and Aspects. I ended up with Black Panther Aggression, and this is my first game of the four different matchups that we have to do. So I have everything set up here. I have my Goblin Thrall in play. We'll go over my deck afterwards and why I chose it versus the Green Goblin. But here, in player order, if this is completed, each player not engaged with a Goblin Minion must discard three cards from the encounter deck and put the first Goblin Minion discarded into play with them. So it's going to start at two threat, it goes up by one per turn. So let's shuffle, shuffle, we'll get all set up here. We're going to draw our six, oh, got to choose our color every time, forget. Draw our six cards. Um, wow, some of this stuff is really nice, but not super useful early on. I don't mind just throwing these on Black Panther as extra health. Um, they're really just there for deck thinning. I do get to fish an upgrade up. Um, yeah, so I'll get rid of one, chase them down, and draw a card. And then I'm going to search for one of my weapon upgrades, which might seem weird, but we're doing it for a reason. We will grab these energy daggers and start our turn. So we are going to play the energy daggers. We'll flip to Black Panther side, and then um, we will make a basic attack against this minion. When we make a basic attack, we can exhaust a weapon to give it pl myself plus three attack, so we'll do that. That'll kill this minion. We can chase them down since we just killed a minion to remove all the threat. Um, and we can just put two of these honorary Avengers out there to start ramping up our health. We're going to wait till we have a ton of minions to play this guy, so we're going to ready everything up. Discard our Hercules. These are the cards that I rejected from Aggression and Basic. Um, and draw our five new cards. All right, so Goblin's turn. He's going to get a threat. He is going to attack us, and we're going to defend. Um, so he's attacking us for three. So we end up taking one. He ends up taking one. And when he places damage... Oh, hold on. I, like, completely messed this up. This is my first encounter card. I forgot to do this. Deal two encounter cards to each player when revealed. Okay, so now he's going to attack. I'm still going to defend. He's attacking for two plus one, so same thing. He takes one. I take one. Um, and we go to the encounter card phase. We're going to have three encounter cards in our very first turn, so this is horrible. Alright, so when defeated, I take a damage. Not so bad. Each player must choose to spend some resources or place two threat here. I think we'll just put three threat there because we can get rid of that pretty easily. Um, and Tombstone, awesome. After he attacks, discard something from your hand if able. So that's horrifying and terrible in every way. So let's see what we can do here. Let's pay two for another Black Panther upgrade. Um... And I guess let's let's Wakanda forever. So I could do two to everything and remove one threat from this, which I think is what I'll do for now. Um, so I remove one threat there. I hit everything for two, just getting things into striking range. And I'm thinking about flipping and just living in the second side of this phase. So if I flip, that's going to go to two. He's got five threat right here. Um, we can choose the order the minions threat in, which is probably pretty smart for us. Um, I don't know if it's smart to do that yet. I mean, I'm going to get a hit for a heck ton here. Uh, I think it's good to flip right now and draw the six cards. So, six cards. There, we got a golden city. That totally made it worth it. So, he's going to get a free threat. He's going to scheme for two and put this guy into play, just for two. And now we choose the order of the last schemes. So we're going to have Tombstone go for two. We'll have Goblin Soldier go for one. That's going to trigger this. Um, we have a Goblin engaged with us, so that trigger doesn't go off. Um, this starts at four. And this guy is going to scheme against it right away. And it goes up by one for each Goblin in play instead of... Um, instead of the uh, one per turn. So it could go up by more than one. It probably will, because there's two goblins in play already. So we'll get going here. It's our turn. We are going to Golden City and draw two cards. 
we are going that's annoying now brutal um we're definitely gonna flip and then we've got to decide what we want to do i don't think we're going to get to use this relentless assault so let's just we could do our basic attack as a five that would almost knock tombstone out so that feels pretty good so let's do our basic attack for two plus three we'll hit tombstone for five So he's up to seven damage. We will use one Wakanda forever. Um, so for this one, we'll remove one. We'll hit everything for two. So that's going to get Tombstone out of our face. This is not an attack, so it's kind of nice. It gets around guard. I can still deal a little bit of damage to Norman up here. So he gets hit for two. This guy gets hit for two and is almost dead. This guy gets hit for two. This is feeling pretty good right now. Um, I think we're going to Wakanda forever again. So I could hit everybody for one and it would kill these two, um, but I can only remove one threat anyway. So I think we're going to do our tactical genius first, get rid of running interference. We'll hit everything for two, so that's going to kill this goblin thrall, and we'll take a damage. It's, it's not goblin thrall, sorry, goblin soldier. It'll hit this Goblin Thrall, who has Guard. And we'll chase them down on that one to remove two threat. And now everything is ready to go. So we're drawing five cards. This mean swing is really working out in our favor. Um, so he's going to get only one threat there. He's going to scheme for two plus something, or attack for two plus something. We will defend. Ends up attacking for three, so we take one, he takes one, and he gets a threat because of his forced response and we get one encounter card which is exhaustion so i'm glad i defended pumpkin bombs not a big deal just some indirect damage we're at a ton of health so i'm not too worried about that um i really wish i felt safe flipping i feel pretty safe i think we're gonna do it um Yeah, let's flip and Golden City for two. We are going to get our Panther Claws down. Uh, do we want to do that? Maybe we want to play Avengers Mansion. Because then we could still play the Claws. And that gets us more ramp in the future. Yeah, perfect. So now we'll pay, play Panther Claws. We've got a Wakanda Forever and a Vibranium Suit saved up for next turn, so we're going to keep those in our hand. That'll also keep us from decking out, which is really nice. Um, so we draw four cards, because we're in Alter Ego mode. And we got Yarn Bjorn coming out. Things are, things are shaping up nicely. So he's going to get one threat. There's one Goblin in play. He's going to scheme for two, three, four. And we're going to hope we don't draw Advance. We draw Assault, so it's Surges. And we draw this little dude. Not a big deal for us. So... It's our go. We've got to decide what we want to do here. We need to thwart, and we need to thwart badly. So let's uh, get our last upgrade out here. Let's flip. Um, yeah, before I flip, my bad. Take backsies. We'll draw two cards, and we'll draw one more. Why not? <laughs> um, this is much better. This is much better. So let's pay one to for a Shuri. And she'll let us search in here for any more upgrades that exist. I don't think that, oh, there's an honorary Avenger right there. Cool. We'll take that to our hand and use it. Um, we'll use melee to play Yarnbjorn. Now we can flip. And from here, we will use melee to play Wakanda forever, so the order really matters here now. Let's do this special first. We're going to hit for one and hit for one. That is not an attack, so we cannot trigger Yarn Bjorn. We will use Panther Gloves to hit this guy for two. We will heal one from ourselves, moving it to Green Goblin. 
or uh, when we use Panther Gloves, we will use Yarnbjorn, sorry. So I have a physical, so I can hit something for two. So I Panther Gloves this guy for two, I hit him for two more, and he dies. We take an indirect damage. Um, now I'll Vibranium Suit, one from myself to the Goblin. Again, that's an attack, so I can use Yarnbjorn to hit him for two more. And then we'll remove two threat from the scheme. Black Panther and Shuri will also both thwart. Just getting all the threat off there that we can. Because we are going to see two encounter cards this turn. So here's our bonus encounter card. Finally our Hall of Heroes. That was in here for a reason, but we didn't see it early enough. All right. So he's going to get one threat. He is going to attack us, and we'll defend. Um, actually, I'd almost rather... What are we going to take here? This is... Oh gosh, what's going on? So this is two indirect damage. So he's hitting us for four, really. I'm not going to defend. Um, put this into play. Awesome. So all goblin enemies, including the goblin, get plus one attack. That's a bummer. So he's hitting me for three. One, two, three. He takes one. These pumpkin bombs explode and hit us for an indirect two. We'll take one and we'll put one on Shuri. And we've got two encounter cards. So the first one is media coverage. Chats your identity card. Resolve each one revealed ability that you reveal one additional time. And we have to go to Alter Ego to get rid of it. And this one is Goblin Knight. Um, yeah, we got to get rid of him. <laughs> That's not a joke. Sorry about that. One of the kids woke up. I am back now. Um, so we are starting our turn here. We're going to draw a card. That's sweet. So we can play Hall of Heroes. Um, we're not going to Relentless Assault. We're going to Wakanda forever this turn. So we will hit everybody for one. And then we will move a damage from ourselves to this guy. Um, and then I think we're going to hit Goblin for two. And then we're going to remove two threat here. And then we'll do a basic attack and we'll mean swing for five more onto Goblin. So that'll give us a counter on Hall of Heroes, which is going to be important later. Um, sure, he's going to thwart as well. Let's just keep that as low as we possibly can. We'll flip. Um, and Golden City for two. Sweet. So we can spend a science resource and get rid of this guy. It's probably important. I'm not going to keep Valkyrie, but I'm going to keep my Wakanda forever, and I'm going to ready up. I'm doing that because there's, what, there's one Wakanda forever in here. There's one in my hand, so there's three more of my 22 cards in my deck, and I'm really going to search for him. So he's going to go. He's going to get a threat because there's one goblin. He is going to scheme for two and put this guy into play, and then that guy will scheme for one. And then we get an encounter card, which is gang up, so it surges, which is shadows of the past. Bummer. So this guy's out here. That's annoying. But at least he's not a goblin. Um, yeah. It's our go. So this guy only costs four now. That's attractive. Um, we've got enough things out that we could haul of heroes here soon. Let's draw our three cards right away. Oh, bingo, bango. We're going to flip. I think we're good to go here. So we are going to Wakanda forever. This thing's got three threat on it. Um, I'm going to remove a threat from the main scheme with Tactical Genius. Let me make sure I reserve the things that I need here. Okay, perfect. Um, we're not going to use the Arbjorn at all, unfortunately. But anyway, I removed a thing with Tactical Genius. I'm going to energy daggers everything for one. So I will hit goblin for one. Doesn't hurt this guy. I will hit this guy for one. I will move a damage from myself 
to the goblin, which will trigger his next phase. So we immediately get dealt three counter cards, but hopefully we don't even have to worry about them. Because he goes up to 20 health, um, and I still have my gloves left in this chain. So he's going down to 16. Neither of these guys have guard, so I will do my basic mean swing against him for five. I've got three more Wakanda Forevers lined up over here. So Wakanda Forever number one, we'll hit him for one, hit this guy for one. We'll move one from ourselves to him, and then we'll hit him for one, two, three, four. I guess we remove a threat as well. Wakanda Forever number two, we'll do the same thing. Hit everybody for one, move one from ourselves to this dude. Um, remove a threat, and then we can hit him for four. And we've got one more Wakanda Forever lined up in the reserves. So I guess we could have triggered Yarm Bjorn twice. Ended it a little bit earlier, but bingo bango, that is Green Goblin with running interference. So, 1-0. Um, the matchups get harder from here, so tune in the rest of the week and we'll get all these done. Thanks.